Okay, Ben, you've been thrust into the linebacker spotlight, largely due to some injuries, notably to Max Tooley. You were playing in front of 54,000 plus at Allegiant Stadium. How did you handle the season opening stress and pressure knowing that you were the guy that was going to play starter minutes? Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was interesting how it all panned out, but you know, it was something that I all off season had been, had been working for some that, you know, I personally, I mean, from the second I woke up to the second I put my head on my pillow at night was kind of working for that. And so, you know, I, I was blessed and, and, Definitely with Coach Clune and and the whole coaching staff, get, they got us all prepared, all the linebackers. But I mean, it was something that you know we had all worked for. So when the time came, it wasn't wasn't time to shy away from it, right? And so the moment's never too big, and that's something that I uh, I learned Saturday, and, and I felt prepared, you know, because of the coaches, because of the work that we had put in. So you know, I was grateful that it that it panned out the way it did, and and you know, I was confident, and so I was grateful for that. Your defensive coordinator Elisa Tuiaki said that Arizona through everything, including the kitchen sink at you in terms of an offense, made a ton of adjustments. And so it understandably puts you guys on your heels. What did you learn about BYU's defense going through that experience of seeing so many strange looks at times from Arizona? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, w it was tough because we didn't have a ton of film on them going into the game. So I think it just it shows that we were versatile, you know, uh, being able to adjust to everything that they were throwing at us and then just being physical. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to, as an offense to score if, if they can't push you off the ball, if they can't run through tackles. So I was proud of the way that our guys fought, especially, uh, you know, down the stretch. So it was awesome. Where do you feel like you need to be better going into the game against Utah, specifically you personally and as a defense overall? Yeah, personally, I mean, there's always things that you can can adjust and, and fix. And so, I mean, whether it's the small stuff or the big stuff, but, you know, personally, I feel like what I can do is, is definitely be on my P's and Q's when it comes to just being assignment sound and then obviously watching the film beforehand. And so with with this week with Utah, I mean, we know that they got some guys, but, you know, we got guys as well. And so it's just going to be getting those guys, you know, they're going to want to isolate, obviously, their star players. And so if we can get those guys bottled, uh, I think it'll be I think they'll uh, end up in our favor. Okay, let's turn the page generally to Utah. When I say Utah at BYU Saturday night, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Win. <laughs> Understandably, given BYU's recent struggles, uh, maybe you've heard, I'm sure you've been reminded a million times over, nine-game losing streak. What type nope. of pressure do you feel with that type of past coming into the game Saturday night? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I grew up watching this game. I think a lot of players did as well. So it definitely means a little bit extra to me. But I mean, like I said, I mean, we've been working hard all off season. I'm confident in how strong we are. So it's it's not time to shy away from it. I mean, we've we I mean, it's there would be pressure if, if we weren't prepared. So I feel I feel confident in our boys, and I know that we're going to come through Saturday. It should be good. I'm excited. Tune in. You mentioned that you grew up watching this rivalry. When did the rivalry become? a big deal for you personally? Me personally? Uh, I'm Back in 2008, 2009, I was young, but obviously back in like the Dennis Pitta, Max Hall days. I mean, I grew up in Salt Lake, so I was surrounded by Utah <laughs> fans. And I mean, it wasn't a massive deal to me, but it was it was pretty big. It was pretty big. And so growing up, I mean, it's, it's been, it was, I grew up in Ute country. So, you know, I'm around those guys all the time and, and you know, we're all friends at the end of the day, but it'll be, it'll be fun to, to talk a little smack after we beat them Saturday. Okay, shots fired. I can get on board with that. Now, growing up in, as you called it, Ute country in Salt Lake City, why did you opt for BYU? Is this a family thing? Walk us through the history of how you became a BYU guy. Yeah, definitely. My, my, both of my parents went to BYU. And so it was, I mean, growing up, we did watch them. And Kalani, when I was in high school getting recruited, Kalani was one of the first guys to show me love. So that was, he was a big reason why I came to, to BYU and I'm grateful it's, it's worked out great for me. So I talked to your teammate, James Empey earlier this week about media distractions and with the big 12 bonanza happening, pending invitation, we think for BYU coming along, of course, the rivalry, the banter, the smack talk, how are you compartmentalizing all of those potential media distractions? Definitely. Definitely. It's, it's, with the media, you, you, you're never as good as they say you are and you're never as bad as they say you are. So <laughs> I try to tune all that stuff out. I mean, it, all, you can, all you can do is control what you can control. And that's, you know, 
showing up to practice, getting everything aligned and, and, and executing. So that for me is, is how I handle that. And I think that's how our team does it as well. Ben Bywater is with us on BYU Sports Nation. Now, just to clarify, are you saying that you tuned me out, Ben? Is, is... <laughs> no, no, I'm always tuning into you. <laughs> okay. Fair. Hey, if you want to, I'm used to it. It's okay. You can tune me out, brother. Like, no offense taken. I totally get it. No, um, just out of uh, curiosity, and I, maybe you don't want to answer this question, but I got to ask it anyway. How is the team reacting to news of a potential Power Five conference invitation? No, I haven't. I mean, we've we've been mainly focused on on football. To be very blunt with you, I mean, I I don't hear a lot of chatter about it, and I, and I'll be honest. I'm sure I'm sure everyone's excited, but I mean, when we're here, it's it's to work. So, I, maybe I got to spend a little time, you know, <laughs> off, off campus with them. But it'll it'll be exciting. It'll be exciting. Whatever happen, whatever happens. This week with Utah down the stretch, I don't think any fan's going to fault you for saying that you're focused on playing and beating Utah. That is totally exactly. fair. Exactly. Fans will be back full capacity at Lavelle Edwards Stadium for the first time in almost two years, 20 year anniversary of the 9-11 tragedy. Emotions are gonna be high for a number of reasons. What kind of atmosphere are you anticipating? Are you envisioning right now when you run into Lavelle Edwards Stadium on Saturday night? Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be intense. It's gonna be high, high stress, high emotions. And I mean, that's as athlete, that's what, that's what you play for, right? You want, you want those fourth down and inches. You want those intense situations. Cause I mean, that's where, that's where the stars come out. So it'll be fun. I'm excited. Uh, and I mean, the, the higher the stakes the higher the victory. So it's going to be fun. I'm excited for it. How will your role, if at all, shift on Saturday night uh, in terms of splitting time with Drew Jensen, uh, playing next to Keenan Peely and Peyton Wilgar? How much playing time and what kind of a role are you anticipating? Yeah, so I mean, we're, we, this Saturday, we'll, we'll see what exactly what happens, but they're going to be running a lot of 12 personnel, right? Some bigger bodies. And then they, they like to spread it out a lot as well with Covey. So it'll all just depend. The linebackers, I mean, I trust every everybody in that room. So, I mean, we're all going to play a lot. I'm excited for it. And then when they spread it out, obviously we're going to bring a little nickel body in who's going to get the job done in the past game. So. I mean, regardless of who's in, I'm excited. It'll be fun. I trust everybody out there making tackles. I mean, it's it's a rivalry game. And I mean, Keenan and Peyton are great. I learn from them every day about things I can do to to increase my stats and, and help us win. So uh, I'm excited. It should be fun. Yeah, you took me there because you're playing against or playing alongside, I should say, two guys that are playing at a very high level. What's the best thing you've learned from Keenan Peely and Peyton Wilgar since your role has increased? Definitely. I mean, with Keenan, I learned, I, I look up to him with work ethic. Keenan, Keenan works hard. You know, he does, he does everything right. And so I love, I love playing next to him. It's super easy to know that he's on the side of me, um, getting his job done at Mike. And then Peyton obviously works hard as well, but just super instinctual. I mean, I'm always asking what he, what's he's thinking, you know, how do you do this? We, you know, it's down, down a distance situation wise, but those are two guys that, you know, I, I love to watch play. And I love to play with because they help me become a better linebacker as well. I know that the overall consensus for all games and sports and competitions is to score more points than the other team. Aside from that, Ben, what is priority number one for the BYU defense on Saturday night in order to set a presence that is going to allow BYU to be victorious against Utah for the first time in 12 years? Yeah, definitely. I think the biggest thing, I think for us is being physical and just knowing we can hang. I mean, we got, we got guys that are coming back. We put tons of guys in the draft last year. So, I mean, it's, it's the confidence of knowing that we can hang, we can do it. I mean, and, and it's just football at the end of the day, it's just football. So being physical, keeping them out of the end zone and enforcing turnovers obviously is, is something huge, but I'm excited. Our scheme this week is it's fun. It'll be fun. I'm excited about it. Okay. I got to ask about the headband. Is this a thing that uh, you generally do? Is it, under the helmet, is this a daily thing or is this just an interview special? The headband, I, I've been rocking the headband for quite a while now. I mean, it's just fun. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, <laughs> bunch it up, keep it all tight and nice and tight up there. It can't be getting in the face. And so, yeah, I mean, it, whether it's, whether it's Nike, Lulu, or just a no namer. Yeah. Okay. Gotta, you know, it's all about the brand, the brand name. Lulu, you're a Lulu lemon guy. It all, I hate to say that, but here and there, here and there, yeah. <laughs> Is it true? You look good, you feel good with Lululemon, you play good. Are you bought in on that? 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Look good, feel good, play good. There's no okay. other way. That takes me to my final question. You're rocking what they call the GIF uniform on Saturday night. Royal tops, traditional white stripes, white pants, going back to the white helmet, and then you've got that gray face mask honoring GIF Nielsen, one of the great quarterbacks at BYU. How do you feel about the uniform combo this week? Yeah, the uniform combo is good. It's it's a good look for sure. I mean, it just just like we talked about, look good, feel good, play good. So, And Giff Nelson is a stud, so honoring him with those face masks is going to be something special. But regardless, I mean, it's it's we prepared for this game, and I'm excited. So it, it should be fun. I can feel the enthusiasm, my friend. Uh, I've, I'm going to give you as much BYU Sports Nation karma as I can muster up here <laughs> over that. Zoom. So that you go and play well, you take care of business, rock the Lulu, the gift uniforms, and best of luck to you on Saturday night. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you.